Neon Tradition taking over Barrio Hollywood. It's the 28th annual All Souls Procession and it filled the streets tonight. And speaking of streets, News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink is out there on the streets at the finale location right now. Eric, what can you tell us? Hey there, Alex. Well, a route change to this year's procession did not put a damper on the festivities at all as over 100,000 took to the streets for this annual remembrance. For almost three decades, this has been the setting in Tucson on one fall night. Thousands take to the streets, embracing the culture and creativity, celebrating and grieving in unison. The, the art that is moving and walking and living and breathing tonight in celebration of our departed ancestors. So honoring the dead and celebrating the living all at the same time. This is the All Souls procession in all its unique raw beauty and emotion. It's all about love. It's about sharing love with others, sharing the loss of loved ones with others, instead of just hiding away. Beverly and Steve Tidwell lost their 11-year-old son after a seven-year struggle with a brain tumor. This is their 15th All Souls honoring his memory. Even though my son passed away, we can really celebrate the good things about his life, and in some ways, celebrating together with each other has the ability to take some of the edge off the pain. A showing of strength and solidarity. Everyone contributing what they have, whatever they want, whether it's a costume or a memory or a photograph, it's all good, anything. A Tucson tradition that never disappoints. And this is truly a global event. On the procession route tonight, we met a couple from Vermont on their honeymoon and a lady from New Zealand. Live tonight on the west side as the All Souls procession wraps up this evening. Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.